Um, hi, good morning. Um, well, I have a kind of a lot of things to update about. It's just so weird. I usually don't like talking to the camera, especially when I'm by myself. <laughs> I feel kind of like a giant weirdo doing it. Um, let's let me think. Gosh, well, I've had a lot happen in the last, gosh, forever since I've updated this. There have been a bunch of news articles and a bunch of well wishes from a whole mess of strangers. And I'm doing really great, actually. I'm, you know, as of right now, I'm still, I still have no evidence of disease in my body. All of my scans have come back clear. All of my skin checks have come back clear. I'm back to swimming um, and doing pretty much everything a normal stay-at-home mom does, like laundry, lots and lots of laundry, and picking up lots and lots of toys and playing with my girls. Um, I'm gonna be starting my journey to make all this start look uh, normal again. My first step is fat grafting. They're gonna take fat from my stomach and then um, inject it here and up over here to basically fill in the space that was left, see here, fill in the space that was left by um, removing the muscle that's in charge of doing this. So they're gonna make this here look and have the same shape as this here. Let me turn my face this way there so you guys can sort of see a difference. See? That's like, you know, there's a lump. No lump. Um, let me think. Then after probably a couple of rounds of fat grafting, depending on how this all heals up afterwards, um, the major concern that my surgeon has is that because I've had so much um, injury to the area, blood flow might not be so great, so we have to take um, the reconstruction fairly slow so I don't have dead fat doing disgusting things on my forehead. And then once that's all taken care of, we're gonna start working on an eyebrow. My hope is that I'll have enough blood circulation to get hair taken probably from somewhere on the back of my head and put here to make myself a little, or not make myself, but my surgeon's gonna make me an eyebrow. At least that's my hope. Um, if that doesn't quite work out, I'll probably go with some form of um, microblading or just buy an endless supply of uh, fluffies from Final Touch Brows. That's what I use to stick on my forehead to replace the brow that I'm missing. Hmm. What else is happening? Oh yes, if you guys want to donate, if you don't, that's okay too. Um, I'm not really doing any of this for, for money or any of that. I'm just doing it to raise awareness and hope that everyone goes to the dermatologists and pays attention to their body and works on some their own self-care, listens to their body, and stops frying their skin in the sun in a tanning beds. That wasn't really my deal, though. My deal was mostly genetics. I guess, um, if you can, donate. If you can't, don't. And that's okay. Please read, please keep up with my, um, album on Facebook. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else fun happening. That's it. Thank you everyone so much for all the donations and well wishes and awesome messages and just, gosh, everything. I mean, this makes so much of one's cancer battle or journey is here. And you guys have made this a hell of a lot easier for me. And I'd like to say a giant, epic thank you. Thank you so much for everything. And um, yeah, 
I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.